Hello everyone, welcome back. This is TechMedic. Thank you for sharing your time with me today. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the weapon glitch inside of Dying Light 2 from Carnage Hall. So in order to go ahead and initiate this, you need to complete the Carnage Hall quest line, which starts with First Blood in the DLC. That's going to bring you over here and eventually you're going to be able to talk to Cerberus. So, if you made it this far, please consider liking, subscribing, and I will go ahead and explain this in detail. So, you're going to want to start the first day in Haran challenge, and that's going to be giving you an opportunity to jump into the mission itself, in which you're going to hit your B button to open up, place a waypoint marker. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be utilizing a new item that we also have. So, as this item is called, it's me, Marion, basically the Mario boots, which are going to give us a triple jump. That triple jump is important because it's going to allow us to do a couple of things. And I'll go ahead and explain. But you're going to have to use this corner of this room in order to go ahead and accomplish this because there is a parking garage directly below with a number of different lootables inside of it, but no weapons. So let's go ahead and explain this jump. You're going to be doing two long jumps. And then the third one is going to actually be a forward sprint jump so it's going to look something like this one two and then you're going to initiate that my character's head is invisible at the moment so don't worry about that so let's go over here get to a place where we can do this and as you saw you can see that we've glitched through a little bit but what we need to do is the fourth jump this fourth jump is going to allow us to go ahead and consider ourselves falling in this new area one two three if i can actually get to the wall one two and you need to flick your camera around too one two now immediately when you start falling you want to hit your z button and glide what you want to do is you want to glide away for a moment because that parking garage is still there. It'll pop in and out. But you want to go ahead and start descending away from this area. And you're going to hit a point to where you're just stuck like that. Keep in mind your stamina is decreasing. And we want to just go ahead and swing our way in. And if you're familiar with this area, you can go ahead and pick up all the weapons you want. As you can see, I've already picked them up from this location, but there are a number of different locations that we can go ahead and take a look at. So there we have it. We have our glitched weapons. We have a bunch of consumables that we can go ahead and pick up, plus a couple of meds that are down there. So in order to go ahead and explain how this jump is done, what you're going to be doing in that corner is you're in an area where your character is allowed to be which means that there's ground beneath your feet when you do that triple jump into the corner what you're doing when you flick your camera you're actually telling the game that you're in an area where there is no ground and that your character is going to be initiating that next jump which is going to consider it as falling immediately when you feel yourself falling you're going to be hitting z in order to go ahead and glide because even though the distance is not that far from the parking garage below it's probably about this much distance and you will die immediately but then you can go ahead get back into that corner and do everything all over again so that's basically what's going on when you do the glitch jump go ahead and collect all your materials i hope this video helped you out and if you can help me out by subscribing, liking, and commenting, I would really appreciate it. You guys have a good day out there, and enjoy your happy hunting.